Let's check out club level at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort in the Kronos Club. Coronado's Club is located in Grandestino Tower, which is the newest part of Coronado Springs Resort at Disney World. In case you're not familiar with what club level is at Disney, it's an upgraded type of room you can book that allows you access to the corresponding resort's club level lounge and concierge services. The club level lounges offer multiple serving periods per day, and you have unlimited access to food and drinks that are available during those times. You'll receive a welcome letter in your room outlining all of the times when food will be available so you can plan your days. Club Level also gives you access to the Club Level Lounge spaces, which can be a nice change from the scenery of your room, as well as concierge staff to help you with any assistance you may need during your trip. Coronado Springs is the only moderate resort at Disney that offers Club Level, usually that is reserved for deluxe resorts only. Club here is called Kronos Club, so let's take a look at what you can expect. Kronos Club is large and spacious and the largest club we've visited so far. With floor-to-ceiling windows, it's a very bright space. There's plenty of seating with booths, couches, and tables, and they also have a variety of games that you can use during your time there, and the club has its own restrooms as well. The lounge offers beverages all day long with a cooler containing sodas, bottled waters, milk, and more that you can grab at your convenience. There is also a coffee and latte machine along with syrups to make your practically perfect coffee each day. And there are a variety of teas to choose from along with fruit or cucumber water. Let's take a look at the serving periods and what you can expect at each one. Breakfast is served from 7 to 10.30 a.m. at Kronos Club, and we have almost always found there was enough to make a full breakfast. With options like polenta, sausage, eggs, pastries, and much more, we always found plenty to eat during this time. We love this because it saves us time and money when we're visiting the parks, we can go straight to the club, grab our breakfast, and then be on our way. You can also order mimosas during breakfast or anytime really, and they even offer pog mimosas, which are my personal favorite. The next serving period is light snacks, and light snacks are served between 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m., and it generally just includes that, light snacks. Things like chips and cookies are available, you can grab and go. There are other options like veggies and hummus, you can almost always find Uncrustables here, and sometimes you'll see small plates of meats and cheeses as well. This time period is usually pretty slow in the lounge as many people are out enjoying the parks, so it's often pretty empty. You can also request beers and wines, and the staff will happily get that for you. Next up is hors d'oeuvres and select beverages, and this runs from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And often you can find almost a full dinner's worth of food here. It kind of just depends what they offer. They change it up every day, but they usually have things like meats and cheeses, gazpacho, mac and cheese, hot items like meatballs and shredded beef, along with seafood dishes as well. And they almost always have pan con tomate from the resort's restaurant Toledo. It is delicious. Highly recommend you get it. It is so yummy. And again, if you can create a full meal, this will save you some money, it'll save you some time. We've noticed sometimes we can make a full meal and sometimes it really is more along the lines of just being able to grab some appetizers.
Desserts and Cordial Hours starts at 8 p.m. and ends at 10 p.m. when the lounge closes. This is always a pretty quiet time in the lounge with desserts, wine, beer, and cordials being offered. You can also watch Epcot's fireworks from the lounge, and honestly, it's just a really nice way to end a really busy day. They do switch up the offerings pretty much every day, so you can sometimes expect to see a few of the same things, but often a few different things as well. Jonas Club has been one of our favorite club level lounges we've tried at Disney so far. They always have a great selection of food and there's lots of space. This is a really spacious area and there's only been one or two times that we've been here that we've not been able to find somewhere to sit. Service here is always phenomenal as well. Now, what does it cost to upgrade to club level at Walt Disney World? Well, that depends on a lot, but in general at Coronado Springs, you can expect to pay about $130 to $200 per night extra for club level. Club level rooms at Coronado Springs are also only available for bookings in Grandestino Tower, which are gonna be more expensive than standard rooms at Coronado as well. So definitely a few things to consider when looking at is club level gonna work for you or not. For larger parties, since that cost does cover everyone in the room, um, for those who are planning to be at the resort more or those who enjoy a good amount of alcohol on their trips, this can very easily be worth that extra cost. However, if you are a guest who's gonna be spending a lot of time in the park, maybe you're just traveling with yourself and one other person, club level might not really be the best value for you. It's really going to kind of depend on how often you plan to use the club, how many meals you can kind of get, I guess you could say, for free, quote unquote, with that stay. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.